All right. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, so it's a little dark. Hold on. <laughs> All right. It's uh, number 184 of 365. Uh, and I start in five. Oh, and this one's called Israel's Under Attack. Good morning, good afternoon, good night. I hope that you're doing well. hope that wherever you are is doing good for you. Good to see you, Daryl. Uh, uh, it, um, it is me, it's Paul Carpenter, and I am here, and you are here, and it is 7 o'clock in New York, so it should be 8 o'clock Central Standard Time. Uh, I don't know what it is, but so it's like 6 or something like that in you know California. No, probably 5 in California. Anyways, point is, uh, today is number 184 of 365, and today's uh, message is, unfortunately, Israel is under attack. But it's not just Israel, my friends. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. It's the entire fucking planet. I'm actually here in New York right now, and I just got here last night, and holy crap, what I just found out that's going on, you know? I mean, it's it's insane, there's, like, riots in the streets. Tell me, where were you? Holy crap. There's Palestinians, like, beating up Jews in, 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 in like, all over Israel. But, like, they're doing it here in the United States, too. Like, in, in there was, it's just in crazy, 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 crazy. The world's going crazy. There's a guy, I just saw um, an article, but a guy who, Stabbed a Asian woman uh, in, in Times Square. It's like, what's going on, guys? And I know that so many people that watch and 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 and, and see this show, call it a show, um, never have ever thought of being angry people in the sense of like what these people are doing. And then you think that maybe like. The Jewish people would not be so poopy scoopies, but they're turning into poopy scoopies too and running around, uh, you know, all over. My friend Mikey White says, "Hey, hey, but this isn't a new thing, brother." And I'm like, "No, no, no, I get it." But you have to, you have to. I uh, hope everybody gets it here that, that you are in a space now and a place in time that's different than any other. We're in a much different place. And with this new job that I have and the technology that I'm seeing and that I've been able to be privy to, it is insanity how much information is being created, mined, and dated, uh, uh, data uh, mined and uh, uh, digitized and, 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 and quantified into little packages. It's, it's, you have no idea. We get 4 million cell phone data points per second. And we have the machine learning that's not, doesn't stop doing it. And it's just putting it into these like categories. And, and then on top of that, there's everything else that we do as a company to put it out there to the world. And it's like... So just on that level alone, it's so massively, uh, uh, there's so much uh, 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 automation. It's insane. What would take probably like a thousand people to grab information, it's coming in that quickly and, and you wouldn't even, a thousand people wouldn't do nothing. That's how much information there is. And it's just mind-boggling. And, 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 the, and the reason I, I say Israel is under attack is Israel's under attack, man. Like, you have to understand, like, there's certain foundations that are in our society. Certain things that have a genetic marker of our memory. And then there's a group of people called the Jews who are more than repletely well known within history and society and still stand to this day 
and the world is attacking their home. Or at least members of the world are attacking its home. That will not bode well for the world. As it has not boded well for any type of country or people that have ever stood against the Jewish people. Never in history. Mark Twain wrote about it. It's called Concerning the Jew. And he's like, what the what is going on? How is it that a, a, a people that constitute less than 1% of the whole of society are the ones that are transforming the planet? And yet nobody gets it. And the ones that do are angry. It's like, ah, come on, man. Enough is enough here. Enough is enough. It's not about jealousy. It's not about anger. It's not about this. It's not about the other. It's like, you, I feel like we're watching like a Disney movie, you know, where it's like one is like the prince uh, and the other one is like the, the other people that live within the kingdom. Okay, and then they're like, or like a brother, they're the brother, let's go with the brother, they're the brother of the prince, and they're like, I'm never going to get to be the, 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 the king, because my brother is the king, so I'm going to kill my brother. You know that movie, you've seen that book, you've read that story, that's exactly what the fuck is happening here. <laughs> that's what's happening here. And it's like, it's like, I, I don't want to kill my my brother or my sister. I'm not, I'm not like, what is that? What what is this brother sister killing thing? What are you talking about, brother sisters and killing? What is? What did you come up with that? How did that happen? What did, what, what did the, how did that become a smart idea? It's not. It's not a smart idea. I don't. I don't. It, it just doesn't make sense. I, I'm talking about like. Music and peace. <laughs> Talking about hanging out with God, and chilling, bro, and dancing, and like being in love, and you know, like that sounds better to me than. <laughs> Come on, bro. Even look, look, you know, it's it's crazy. You want to get you want to get silly. Go back to 1947 when the Jews who were dispersed from their own land by Romans, but whatever, we're not going to talk about that one. And they're outside of the land forever. Like, whoa, we don't know where we're going. And then they just start living everywhere because they got nowhere to live. <laughs> and they're getting kicked out of every country. And funny, whenever they get to the country and they live there, things go really well for the country. And then when the country fucking starts getting really well, they start hating on the Jews. The country goes <laughs> every time. Now, the thing that's really crazy, 1947, the Jews go back to Israel. They're like, all right, we're here. We're going to chill. We're going to be like, cool with it, you know. Not a lot of land. Not a lot of land. And then they go, uh, the 1967 war happens, and they take, they take over the land, right? And then they're like, wait, there's Palestinians here, and the Muslims, they want the Dome of the Rock. You know, we'll be nice. We don't want to fight. We're going to give you the land. We'll give you the Dome of the Rock. We'll give you the places here to live. We'll give you this West Bank space, whatever. All right, you can live here, there, whatever. <laughs> and then that, that's not good enough. No, we want more land, they say. They say, no, we want this. And they start fighting. So the Jews go, okay, no problem. All right, here, take a little more land. <sighs> Comes down to that idea of where, like, you say, like, look, let's like, just live together. Like, why can't you just chill? And it's like... You know? Oh, my God. Oh, oh. Anyways. Um, I think that's the story in the end. I think the story in the end is that, that we should all just chill and be okay with each other. Learn to understand that we're all silly and that we all make mistakes and none of us are perfect and none of us are right. And... We're all just trying to get along and be good. And, and what we've been told so far 
with this book called the Torah. <laughs> These rules that have been told that are supposedly from this creator have made these people last a really long time. Whatever you want to call that, whether it's like genius people from the past who've taken the information of the blah, blah, blah and written it down because the Bible or the Torah is not real. It's not really from God. That's a lot of people say that. I'm just saying. So if that's the truth, then I, whatever you want to say, show me another person or a people who have lasted as long, who have done as much in the world and are as prevalent today as they were when they first started. If you can show me who they are, then it'll make sense. And I'll be like, hey, you're right. Those people can totally compete with the Jews. But guess what? You're not going to find them. Because the Jews are the Jews. Sorry. I'm not sorry. I'm, so I'm not sorry that I'm a human being, that I was born out of the womb of a woman who was Jewish. Sorry. Can't, can't. Can't be sorry. Can't be it's sorry about that because it's not my. I didn't choose to come out as a Jew. I just came out. What do you want from me? I'm not over here telling everybody to be angry at each other. If anything, I'm telling everybody to be peaceful and loving and like try to be cool with each other. It's like it. it I, Hill, I want you to understand something else. It's called the Israeli Defense Defense Forces Defense. Because in the when you learn in the martial arts, you fucks. <laughs> what you learn is that you never want to start a fight. That you only want to ever defend yourself. And what you do is you end it as quickly as you can. You never continue the fight. To continue the fight is, is irrational within the mind of a real, real person who is about what the art of martial arts is about. It's never a place of trying to come from a place of trauma. It's a place of trying to end something that you have started in my existence, not the other way around. And so, you know, I want, I want peace. I want, I want happiness. I want goodness, but I'm also going to protect myself. And I'm not going to put myself in a place where I could be in pain just because, oh, I'm supposed to be cool. No, I know the world's not cool, bro. I know, I know that there's people out there that aren't cool. So guess what? I'm going to fucking have like a group of people that are fucking cool enough to be smart enough to be defensive enough to like know how to take care of my people so that other people don't hurt me. Sorry. Sorry. I'm not sorry about that either. Because we should all do that. We should all do that together. And then guess what? We wouldn't even need those fucking people. Then it would just be like, you know, like be cool with each other. Maybe you just have those people who help continue the, 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 the order of things so that everybody can work together in an orderly fashion. Not in a, not in a controlled manner, but we're again, I knew what I tell you. What's that done so far? Is that, is that doing pretty well for you out there? You know, a lot of people, guns, a lot of people yelling at each other, you got a lot of batons beating each other. Is that working? Doesn't look like it to me. Just saying. Just saying. So there's got to be something better. There's got to be a better way. Something, something. I don't know. I'm not saying I'm genius. But there's got to be a better way. There's got to be. Then control of, of, the human, of the human body and mind and soul. There's got to be a better way. And I'm sorry, but the way that we're doing it right now is not the right way. And the way that we allow ourselves to continue in that manner isn't the right way either. Because we are culpable. It's not just the people at the top that are making the rules and making the money, that are controlling the world. No, we're culpable. We're the ones who accept the idea of like, oh, you want me to eat only this brand of this thing? Okay. I'm culpable. We're all culpable. But it's about being aware of how culpable you are to this thing. And how much you place yourself into this thing. Now you're talking to a guy who sells advertising. I don't sell it. I distributes advertising. I don't create it. 
I don't, I don't, uh, I don't know, I serve it, definitely serve it, so, can't say that I'm not culpable myself, can't say that I'm not in the, working for the number one company in the world that does it, so, it's unfortunate, but there's a reality that we live within, it's unfortunate, there's a reality that we live within, and the reality is this, there's two ways to be outside of the system. One is to be so broke and so poor that you're living on the road or off the land or off of other people. I've done it. I've lived it for 20 some odd, 30 some odd years of my life. Cool. I've done it back and forth in different ways. The other way is to have so much money that you don't care anymore because you're comfortable. In the sense that you know that you're going to be able to go do whatever you need to do or create whatever you need to create for the world around you. And my dream, my ultimate goal in this world, and I just started to really believe in this idea that it's a possibility, is a place where uh, we create a nonprofit organization that has everything for everyone that wants to do something with art, that wants to do something with gymnastics or martial arts or or, or, or like a maker space for everything, for music, for like, I have a maker space section. It's a warehouse. I can think of warehouses, like huge warehouses that are like gymnasium style warehouses. Right. And like one would be just like all music. And then another one, you would hear this cacophony of sound coming out of these things. It'd be so intense. And then the other one would be like uh, all woodworking stuff. And the other one would be like all glass and the other one would be all metal the other one would be like, you know what I mean? You have all these warehouses that are like really like kind of around each other, almost like in a very um, Burning Man half circle kind of idea. And then in the middle, you could have like uh, communal spaces and communal art projects and all these things that are coming out of this thing, you know, just this place where you could go and learn to be the thing you want to be. And in like, in the, like for other people who want to teach the thing they want to teach, but they don't have a school or they don't have a place where then you can like go there and like have one of the spaces and then space like teach your class and people can learn from you about the things that you've learned over the time that you've become the artist of the thing you wanted to be. And and that would be like about, that's what, that's what I see. And I see like a bunch of those, like all over the place, you know, like it'd be cool, bro. Like in different countries, maybe like, one in every country and it's just a place it's like this they're meccas of artists and they all just blah, 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 blah. it'd be awesome like you could have a whole like videography section you know and then you could have like um a whole section with 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 people who are like just making videos of all the other sections I mean, like, think of the YouTube channels, think of, like, the gaming channels, the maker channels, like, whoa, and it could all just be, like, 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 like an incubation center of art, that'd be dope, of all kinds of art, too, you know, futuristic, mixed media, all, like, melding together and becoming this thing, and that's what I see, that's what I want, and, uh, that to me is a beautiful dream. That to me is a Disneyland that I want to go to. It's a Disneyland that you get to be part of while you're there. You get to be part of. And it all, it all came uh, on some level, at least it's starting to come together in that idea in my mind. When I did the wall outside of this house where there's like five artists that have all painted on this wall and it's a complete mess, but yet there's a beauty to this like little art project. And I guess that that's kind of what we are. You know, we're like an art project. And uh, whatever we do is what we leave on the wall. And we leave our essence and our children in the way that we think and the way that we are with each other and the prejudices that we have created in our life. And we give that to our children unconsciously. My father was a black blacksmith, so I'm going to be a blacksmith. Why? Well, because my dad was, and I wanted to always be like my dad. My dad was a blacksmith. I want to be a blacksmith.
please go out to the world, do something nice for somebody else. And if you can't do something nice for yourself, it does start with you. Number two, don't get caught up in all the crazy stuff that's going on in this world. Because if you do, then you'll end up really angry. <laughs> And number three, please like, share, subscribe, send this out to somebody who needs to see it. If you wouldn't mind, it would, it would, it would, it, would, it cherish. I think you have no idea. I have a friend of mine. His name's Zach Martin. He's every single day. He's reposted these videos 184 times. He's going to repost today. And that to me is amazing because from him, I've met five or six or seven people in the last year who have walked up to me and be like, you're the guy, dude. You're the guy that I see in the videos because I'm, I'm Zach Martin. And I'm like, yeah. And he's like, yeah, dude, I, I, I saw you on his dude. Thank you. And I'm like, oh my God. Okay. This is getting weird, <laughs> but it's really nice. You know, it really is because then it gives me validation that I'm saying something that helps in some way, some form, you know, that I'm doing something. That gives you some kind of to be like, yeah, dude, this guy gets it. I want to share his thoughts. I want to let other people like think maybe, maybe, me, maybe. My friends, take a deep breath. I love that I started this, by the way, and put it out. Take all that negativity out of your life. Take all your strife and pain and all the things that have happened to you. Just let it all go. Just let it go. Because if you're holding on to it, it's doing you no well. It's not. Oh, and I just realized now, because I just thought like that I did the whole thing in the morning. I was like totally off, right? Because it's seven here. I think this is like six in Houston, which is like five in uh, Colorado and four in the morning. And like, <laughs> oopsie. My clock's off. Uh, the last three days has been all over the place. Just I did, it, 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 and now I'm back in New York. All of a sudden, it's like whoa, dude. <laughs> uh, and uh, <sighs> let's try to be good to each other. Let's try to be nice to each other. Let's try to give to each other, love each other, and share with each other, and grow with one another. With that, my friends, I love you all very, very, very much. And I'll see you all. I will see all of you on the other side.